Hey, what's up, guys? Mitch HD here, and uh, we have a, a massive release uh, of JC Wings models. These are the March releases 32 models in total, 18 1 to 200 scale, and 14 1 to 400 scale. I'm on easytoys.com, go check them out, great website and everything. Um, Alright, so let's start here with the 1 400 scale models, and we'll start down here at this. Colorful um, Gizal, Jizu, I'm not sure how to pronounce that at all. Uh, E190 registration B3115. Doesn't look too bad. Pretty colorful in a way with the different colored stripes. Eva Air A321 with sharklets in the new livery. Registration B16222. It looks nice. Next up is the Eva Air A321 Sharklets in the, I guess, current livery more than the old livery because most of the, most of the aircraft still have it. But, um, yeah, this one looks, I have, I have to say this one looks a bit better than the new livery one. Registration, B16208. Uni Air A321 with Sharklets, obviously, uh, Subsidiary of uh, Eva Air. Registration B16209. Next up is a Thompson 737-800. It looks very nice. Uh, livery is Family Life. Has split scimitar winglets. Registration GFDZG. Jet Airfly 737-800, um, part of uh, the TUI group, just like Thompson is. Um, split Skimitar Winglets, same livery, registration OOJAF. Next up, a TUI 737-800, Split Skimitar Winglets, registration DATUD, Blue Hotels livery. Tap Portugal Express um, ATR seventy two. Not sure five hundred or six hundred. To me, it looks like a like a five hundred. Probably is a six hundred. Um, but anyway, registration CSDG uh, DJA. Sorry about that. Then we have an Air Austral triple seven three hundred ER. I wish they'd bring out Air Austral one to two hundred scale. I would get uh get one of them. Um, just because their livery is so good. It's kind of like Frontier's tails. Um, the tails are all different. Um, not sure what the tails are supposed to be um, about. Anyway, registration FOSYD. It does look very good. Looks That looks like a volcano, uh, I would say. It's difficult to tell since the picture is so small. Um, this one looks like a geyser. This is registered FOREU. Next is F O N O U. Again, looks like a guy. So this is probably uh, this this would have a different tail, but they've uh, just used the same picture. Next, a Swiss triple seven three hundred ER registration H B J N B. Hopefully, it's time next month for them to release it in one to two hundred scale. Because I really want one. I'm not going to get it from in flight. If this one comes out in 1 to 200 scale, I may get it, but most likely um, I don't think I will, just because I, I want the regular livery and, and um, yeah, nothing more than that, really. Because um, this is, uh, I think, to celebrate the, the people of, of Swiss. Um, registration HBJNA. So yeah, if one did come out in 1 to 200 scale, I would, I would get the regular livery. Next, a BOAC Concorde. Um, registration. No registration, obviously, because it was a fantasy model. Um, no other airline owned them apart from British Airways and Air France. Some would at least start to, to um, you know, the likes of Pepsi for promotion. 
but um, they were still owned by, you know, British Airways or Air France. This may have been... I, I Actually, no, I don't think it was... Um, I don't think BOAC had their livery on the Concorde at all. Um, so I just would expect that to be a fantasy model. Now on to 1 to 200 scale. This was announced uh, quite a bit before these releases, but is, it is actually part of these releases. The Ryanair 737-800 registration EIFP, yes to Europe livery. Does not so bad. I won't be getting it though. Neither one of these Ryanair livery uh, aircraft. Not a fan of Ryanair, but the fact that I haven't flown on them, um, just just it's a no for me. Uh, registration E I E S X. Next up is a blank Boeing 747-8 freighter. Uh, registration number, no registration obviously, of course, why am I thinking about registration numbers? This is obviously uh, one that you want to do yourself, like they've also brought out these other ones here, as you can see in the recommendations. Um, ATR-42s and 767s and stuff like that, so it's basically um, apply your own livery, or you know, if, if uh, a fantasy one, like if you want to do an in New Zealand 747-8, because obviously in New Zealand have not um, not got any, not not bought any. If you want to do your own like fantasy model, that's what that's what they release them for. So if you've got your own decals for them, but um, a lot a lot of people will be uh, getting this one um, primarily because of the fantasy uh, side of things, and because it's such a, a nice aircraft. This one. Been, some people have been waiting for for a long time. I will be getting this one. Karina 747-8 freighter. Uh, registration HL7629. And yeah, it's it looks like a very, very nice model. This next one is a definite musket for me because they fly this in seasonally into Auckland. Um, so in the, in the southern hemisphere summer, uh, we get the 747-8F. Sorry, not 8F, 8I, and the 747-400, and in the winter we just get the 777-300ER. Anyway, this is a 747-8I, uh, registration HL7630, and uh, yeah, it's just, it's a stunning model, so it's a musket for me. Next up, lot Polish ERJ-170, registration SPLDH, fire and rescue livery. Um, fire and rescue. So I'm guess is that from? That looks like it's from the movie Planes, which is like a spin-off of Cars. I think that's that's what it is. If that is the right livery. Anyway, register. Uh, sorry, I've already mentioned the registration. I'm a bit slow today. Anyway, this is this next one is a Twee Fly seven three seven eight hundred split scimitar winglets. Tropy Fruity Livery Registration D ATUJ. This is a very, very nice aircraft. Very colourful, of course. And uh, I bet this one will sell out fast. Because it's... Uh, people really like it. It's been very popular. And um, I'm, I'm not sure whether to, whether to get it. Most likely I won't. Um, I'll just keep it as a... Maybe for now, you know that kind of maybe where you're just completely not sure at all if you want to get it or not. Anyway, let's move on. Air France A330 200 in the old livery. Um, I think in the new livery, I think what was it the the colours are, are lighter, like their blue is more more dull. I think in the new livery or the the current livery. Um, but they almost look exactly the same. Registration F for GZCM. It's a nice model, but I won't be getting it. Next, Boeing House Colors 777-300. This is the non-ER version. So keep that in mind if you go to purchase this model. This is the non-ER. So this will have um, the Rolls-Royce engines on them, not the G90s. Uh, so uh, I've also got... Um, I've been thinking about getting the the ER version uh, from in-flight, but um, so yeah, still thinking about it really. 
but this one I will be getting for sure. Um, registration in 5014K. And uh, you can see, just see there's you know a few of the airline logos. There are not many there because not many did order the 300 variant. It's a high density um, uh, variant of the 777, uh, especially for Asian carriers. So the likes of Cathay, Japan, ANA, Singapore, they've all got it um, because they, they got those high density short routes. This one I've been thinking about getting, not completely sure again, um, Asiana A380 HL7626 is the registration. It is a nice model, but um, yeah, T tell me what you guys think to me if you if you think I should get it, because I'm, I'm not convinced yet. Uh, but I know um, 777 Die Hard Forever is definitely going to get it, um, so, so once it's released make sure you go check out his review for it. South African 747-300, registration ZSSAJ. Never actually knew about this livery before, um, so it's about um, p people painted on it, so I'm not sure what the livery is uh, supposed to be about, but it is um, a very striking livery. It's kind of similar to the uh, Nalangi or Wunala Dreaming livery that Qantas have uh, had in the past. But yeah, I don't think I'll be getting that one. Oh, sorry, the actual name of it is, I might pronounce this right, Nidizani. Um, that's as close as I, I will get to it. Next, Northwest M47400 Bowling Show livery. Bowling Show? I'm not sure. Uh, maybe this is the name of the livery, I'm actually not sure. I'm, I'm not um, familiar, too familiar with Northwest. Um, though I know Delta took over from them. Registration in 661 US. It uh, it actually does look very good, but I won't be getting it. And some information if you want to pause it. I think this is from Wikipedia. Next up, a BOAC Concord again. The same fantasy model. Yeah. Next up, South African A340-600, registration ZS-SNC in the Star Alliance delivery. I'm definitely getting this one. This is the, um, this may be the first A340-600 released uh, to be, um, you know, actually be released uh, in stock um, from JC Wings or Gemini Jets um, because the Etihad didn't actually have a release date, the Etihad F1 from JC Wings. So this might come out before then, because this does have a scheduled release of April 15. But uh, either way, either way, I'm getting this. Um, it looks it looks great. Um, big fan of Star Alliance. So, um, yeah, definitely a must-get for me. I, I do want to see one in the regular livery, though. One of two Aeromexico 787-8. This one has a registration in 965AM, so an American registration. So yeah, it does look very good. However, I'll be getting this one instead, which is which has the Mexican registration XAAMX, which makes it a little more, um, you know, proper in a in a way because it does have the Mexican registration for a Mexican airline. Also, wait, did I miss something? Oh no. Okay, yeah, I thought this one might have had the American flag. They both have the Mexican flag. Brand new mold from JC Wings, uh, the 717, um, a very very good for a lot of collectors. Uh, not so much for me. I might the only 717 I would probably ever consider would be Hawaiian Airlines because I've seen quite a few of those in person, and and I think they really uh, they look really good. Uh, but the first release of the 717, um, which is a 200 variant, is Jetstar in their current livery. Uh, registration VHVQI and next up is the one in the old livery the white livery uh, VHVQH so those are the two brand new molds and um, you know people might be impressed with them because uh, they may start off with a lot of detail and 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 not have you know over the years like the triple sevens um, having to 
develop their models a lot um, due to um, customers getting annoyed so hopefully I hope that these will be perfect from the very start I believe they will be uh, as as it is a, an anticipated mold anyway um, so out of the two 1 to 200 scale models because um, I don't collect 1 to 400 scale models I'm going to review which ones I'm going to get so the the two Karen SM47s the Boeing House uh, 777 300 the <clears throat> South African A340 Star Alliance delivery and the Aeromexico 787 maybes are Asiana and the Tui Fly but they're not you know not not even close to being a definite yes they're um they might come later on I might think about getting them quite later on but anyway guys tell me what you guys think um, please like this video if you did enjoy comment tell me what you think of these models tell me if you're going to get any uh, the, the these do have a short order date so make sure if you're going to get any get them quick because uh, from what JC wings have said and from what some of the retailers um, have been emailing out that um, they're, they're telling you to get your pre-orders in quick because of the very very short notice JC wings are giving you don't know why um, kind of ridiculous but but there uh, I just you know thought I'd tell you guys um, please subscribe for more up next is my ATR 72 review of the in New Zealand All Blacks um, livery uh, go check out my 2500 subscriber video my previous one um, thank you guys so much for helping me get to that milestone um, I'm very thankful for it and um, share this video so other people can know about these new releases and see if they want to get any as well anyway guys I really hope you have enjoyed and I'll see you next time